G'day, mate. There is a lot of new cameras coming out with huge resolutions like the Canon, Canon EOS R5. But you don't necessarily need to go and buy a new camera if you want to deliver in 4K. So your clients might want 4K, but you don't need to have a 4K camera. All you need to do is get good footage to begin, to begin with that doesn't have any noise in it. You know, it's lit well, ex exposed well, you've done a good grade on it, and then you can just upscale it to 4K and most of your clients will not be able to tell the difference and you'll get more value out of your older camera for a much longer period of time. So let's just jump straight in and I'll show you how to very quickly upscale your 1080 footage into 4K resolution. So there's all these 4K cameras out there and people are saying that 1080 cameras are kind of dead. Well, I would have to disagree because if you understand how to super scale and use the 4K blow up inside of Resolve, you can get some amazing images. So now let's just jump into the settings and look at how we can take 1080p footage and upscale it to 4K or 4K to 8K and achieve the highest quality results from Resolve. Okay, guys, so you want to find the quickest way to upscale your footage. Let's say you are working in a 1080 timeline and you want to upscale your 1080 footage to 4K to get a better image result. So the fastest way to do that is by right clicking your media here, going to your clip attributes and then going down and clicking on two times, keep everything at low so that the um, footage ends up looking nice. Don't go to medium or high, they end up giving you a bad result. Well, that's what I found in my case click OK and you'll see that it hasn't actually changed the resolution size okay all right that's because it's going to be doing it once it's on the timeline so let's just jump onto our timeline grab our animation my animation that I made and you can see it actually hasn't super scaled it now I know it hasn't super scaled it because uh, I know what the frame sizes are so why is that and the reason why is if we go over to our project settings over here, we go to our master settings here, we have in our image scaling said mismatch resolution file scale image to fit. What we want to do is center crop with no uh, resizing. So let's do that. Let's click save. And now you can see it has just super scaled the footage by two times. Okay. So this is now super scaled two times. So let's just say you wanted to bulk batch stuff out. That would be a really quick way of doing it. It's not the most effective way of doing it because as you can see, um, we're not getting great playback. So this is not the way that I'd advise to do it. Okay, so let's just reset this. I'm just going to go up to my uh, clip attributes in my, in my timeline. I've got resizing super scale I want to set it to none click OK and I need to go back into my project settings now and I just want to change this back to scale entire image to fit let's click OK and you can see we're now back to 1920 by 1080 and we've got 4k uh, we've got 24 frames per second playback okay so if you want to super scale or what's the what's a better way to do it so you can have real-time playback while you edit because obviously if you're editing you don't want to be working at a snail's pace okay so let's go into our master settings choose master settings go up here choose an ultra HD timeline go to our image scaling settings make sure that that scaling entire image to fit great click Save and now what it's going to do is we're now in an 4k timeline but we're still using 1080p footage now this is upscaling the 1080p through a different algorithm not the super scale algorithm and it allows you to just work in real time this is a big plus because what you're actually doing is seeing the frame size that you should be working in and what you're going to be exporting in and it does give you a good result but it's not the same result as what you're going to get if you want to super scale now you can Always right click on here, go to clip attributes. Once you've done your edit, you can go none, change it to two times so that your 1080 is now matching the timeline and you can click OK. But again, if you do that, you're going to go back to your slow, 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 horrible experience of uh, not being able to edit in real time. And nobody wants that. OK, so let's click that. OK, so the fastest way to do this would be to be once you 
finished your edit in your 4K timeline using your 1080p footage that has been upscaled by Resolve. It's not the sharpest it could be. So the most effective workflow here, if you're upscaling in Resolve, is do your editing, do your visual effects, do your sound mix, right? Then what you wanna do is select your clips, click on uh, clip attributes, click on two times, click OK, then go to your project settings, have mismatch timeline settings unchecked so that you can now go here, super scale, keep that all on low, click save, and now don't even bother trying to play it because it will not play because now I'm doing two, two upscales. I'm doing a timeline upscale and I'm doing a 4K upscale. So I'm gonna get like half a frame to two frames a second. It's just dreadful. And then what you would do is you just go to your export window. You would, you would then go down here. You can see your 3840 by 2160. This is the highest quality you're ever gonna get out of Resolve when it comes to, uh, you can see it's absolutely chugging my system while I'm screen recording. This is gonna be the highest quality video that you're gonna get with an upscale out of Resolve. And then what you would do is you would set your parameters for your, for you know, you'd set your file name, set your location. You would set what you want to render it out as, hit add to the render queue, and off you go to the races. <laughs> Walk away for about an hour because it's gonna take a long time to render. But the great thing about it is it's a super useful tool. It can drastically change the quality of 1080p footage being blown up to 4K. And it can give you exceptional results that are well worth the wait time in render. Well, guys, that's all I've got for today about upscaling in Resolve. But if you want to know more about the back end of Resolve and what's actually technically happening when this is upscaled and you want to see the comparisons between all the different ways that it works and which one is actually the best way and what settings are the best for what type of footage and when you're doing what and this, that and the other thing, then there's a link in the description that will take you to my more in-depth tutorial on this subject. And I highly recommend that you have a look at it because it goes way deeper into this subject than what I have done here. Because again, this is just a quick tip. So go check it out. And if you already are subscribed, hit that notification bell. And for all those people that aren't subscribed, well, you should subscribe. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Bye for now.